surreal, really, helping our son pack up and move uh, so far away. It's definitely a new thing for me as a mom. It's hard. Even though we have 19 children, it's still going to be very difficult when one moves away. You know, Josh has been around us for 25 years. He's really never been away. And this is really a huge step for our first child to move halfway across the country. And we're really going to miss him. Hey friends, it's Katie from Without a Crystal Ball. Welcome back to my channel. It is Monday, March 4th, 2024. I hope everyone's having a wonderful day. All right, I have been back on the Duggar story because of a ongoing situation related to one of the Duggar's friends, Jim and Bobby Holt, who appeared in Shiny Happy People, Duggar Family Secrets. The ongoing situation with that family has opened up a can of worms and I've had a lot of sources coming back to me with information about the family, the Duggars, their groups, and it's been an overwhelming few days, to say the least. And recently, I had an opportunity to sit down with someone and talk with them about what's going on on the compound, why hasn't Jana moved out yet, what is the situation with Jana and what have other adult daughters in this culture and in their circle experienced when they are not married and adults and unable to move away from home? Well, it's been kind of a wild few days, but Jana's situation is by far concerning because she recently turned 34 years old and she is the oldest daughter of the Duggar family. And despite the fact that they claim that Jana has her own place, she lives in a tiny mobile home on the patio next to the basketball court at the Duggar's property. And recently, jo Joanna has been trotting out Jana in her videos and promising Q and A's and there's been you know, still shots of these videos with Joy and her sisters, which make it look like Jana is a little sister because she's like having a slumber party with her sisters and Jana's there. And all of this is, you know, in a way to sort of normalize and make it look like everything is fine. Because right now, Josh Duggar has petitioned the Supreme Court to review his case citing all the same issues that occurred in the appeals case. There's nothing new. It's not even worth discussing. But Jim Bob is trying to obviously put out content to distract from any negativity going on in the media, including what's happening with Jim Holt, including what's going on with his son, J Josh Duggar, including stuff that Jill has put out in her books and the ongoing podcasts that she can continues to do and interviews that she continues to give. So he is in this mad dash to cover everything up. So Jana's situation has been complicated because a lot of people are like very confused about why she still lives at home. And it is a complicated situation because we will never know her reasons, but I will tell you what people from this culture have told me. And I'm not speaking about people that are from the IBLP that didn't know the Duggars. I am talking about people that literally know the Duggars and can speak to what Jim Bob has done, not only with his children, but what recommendations he has made to families when their daughters do not behave and what rules this group follows when it comes to adult daughters. So let's dive into today's topic. Before we do, can you make sure to give this video a thumbs up? Make sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed and click on the bell so you never miss a video. Jim Bob Duggar has a lot of control. Control not only of his family, but control of the people that are diehard loyalists that are a part of his group of what I would call Northwest Arkansas Religious Mafia. Jim Bob has a group of families that have many moved, many of which have moved specifically to Arkansas to be near the Duggars and have sort of encircled and engulfed this community 
and these men and women that are a part of it are loyal to Jim Bob and look to Jim Bob as like the leader, as the prophet, as this man who is literally anointed by God. And these are what some people would describe as like cult leader, cult members, uh, people in the world around them call them like Duggar groupies. But these people believe everything that Jim Bob tells them and they actually listen to what Jim Bob tells them to do. And some of these people were around back before the show and others have come on since the show. And he has this like large group of people around him that he dictates what they do in their lives. With that said, in this world, back in the early 2000s, before they had a show, the Duggars did and had a home church. And in the home church, they went through and watched all of the seminars by Gothard and they discussed, you know, all the different teachings by Gothard. They were all using wisdom booklets for, t for schooling. They supplemented apparently with like Bob Jones curriculum. They also other, they used other curriculums for their homeschooling, but a lot of what they discussed were the rules that they needed to have in place for their families. Dads, if you only realize your tremendous responsibility before God to protect the purity of your daughter was that the father was responsible for the purity of the daughter up to the point of marriage. He had to come forth and bring forth proofs that she was pure. And if not, his name would be desecrated there in the whole society. And of those rules, a lot of it had to do with teachings from Gothard about daughters and oldest daughters not being able to move out of the home until they're married. Now, Jill and Ginger have both touched on this, that it's a rule that women cannot move out until they're married, and even if they're 40 years old. But something they haven't told you is that in these studies and in these teachings, there's also rules about child discipline that extends into adulthood. And in the teachings that Gothard does, when he does the advanced seminar, he does this whole long speech about how when girls move out, if they decide to move out and leave the authority of their father, they're gonna end up getting attacked, they're gonna end up falling into witchcraft, they might get involved with you know, becoming lesbians, or they may, you know, get into crime, or they might get hurt. They make it seem like destruction is going to follow, and they're going to have the worst possible outcomes. When this daughter argues with the parents, rationalizes in her own mind impurity, and rejects the counsel of her parents, she's opening herself up to devastation, to destruction, and that brings immediately the sense of guilt. This is indoctrinated into the girls as children, but also, let's talk with this. Back in the early 2000s, uh, a woman that was part of their home church and a part of their circles was telling me actually today that they would watch videos of Gothard and then after they would have like these breakout sessions. And one of the details that she said they actually discussed was discipline. Then explain that love requires chastening. Whom the Lord loves, he chastens. And scourges every son whom he receives. Father doesn't love his son, he won't discipline him. But then the purpose of discipline is to win the will of that son or daughter, not to break their spirit. And the discipline was spanking. And the guys all believed, according to this woman, that it was their place and their right to discipline even their adult daughters. And so this woman said that at the Bible studies and at their, like, when they would watch the Gothard videos, the guys would talk about not only was it important, as important to like, you know, blanket train and spank your five-year-old, but it was also important to spank your adult daughter if they disobeyed. Then get a loan to correct the child. If you correct a child in public, you will break the spirit of that child usually. And Other maybe. I said, was this like something that was drilled in? Was it something discussed as much? And she said, absolutely as much and adult daughters that remain at home remain under their father's authority and they are spanked according to the source so she said to me today that means that it's highly likely because jim bob was a huge proponent of this teaching that Jana is still getting disciplined by her father with the rod of encouragement and that this can be used whenever she does something that he doesn't want her to do or i know um my parents they 
purpose to not ever discipline when they were angry. They would both just lower their voice and they would talk us through it. And I mean, I the correction wasn't that bad. I mean, the talking, I think I always was like, oh, I'm gonna have to get an hour long talk from mom. I mean, it was great, but it was, it's, she's um, amazing at just lovingly correcting us. So that was one detail that I thought was absolutely disturbing, but we've talked about a little bit. But another detail she provided me was this. There was a family that was involved in this group and they had daughters that were older and one of the daughters fled in the middle of the night on the day that she turned 18 years old. In the middle of the night, she literally like, she took all of her belongings and she just like escaped from her parents' house. That family, according to this source, was told by Jim Bob Duggar to shun the daughter, do not have contact with her and do not be like, everyone in the community was told to shun this girl. This girl is an interesting one, and I'll get to this in another video because of her connection to the Duggar family and the Duggar story. When another one of their daughters wanted to start a relationship with a guy and the father turned them down, the guy told the girl that she didn't have to stay there in the house with her dad if she didn't want to. Like she could literally leave if she wanted to. There was no reason that even because her dad said no to the courtship, that she couldn't leave. First accepted the principle that God wants young people to honor their parents by allowing them to give direction to their social life and by voluntarily submitting their choice of a partner for them. Secondly, I concluded that there is a difference between dating and courtship and that parent-blessed courting can be a healthy and honoring to God, but dating is contrary to scripture. But I just would encourage every single one of you to purpose that from this day forward, it's not gonna be dating. When God brings the one into your life of his choosing, it can be courtship. So when her, the guy left, who's now her husband, he called police and he said that the adult daughter was wanting to leave the house, but the father was not letting her leave the house and was effectively like a captive in the home. My source said that police came to the home and again, this is a very close friend of the Duggars. And they showed up and they asked the daughter if she wanted to leave, to which she said yes. And so police escorted her through the house, allowed her to pick up her belongings, whatever she wanted to take with her before she left. And she left that night with a police escort. She never went back home. And again, when the family told Jim Bob about what happened, according to my source, Jim Bob told them, to shun the girl, to not have any contact with her, and the girl was shunned from the community. So no one was allowed to talk to this girl because she disobeyed her father and left the authority, but a police officer had to help her leave the house. When two of Jim Holt's daughters wanted to move out and get their own place and have independence when they were in their mid-20s, Jim Holt, said no. This is according to multiple sources. And when one of the girls had a guy that was interested in her, that was trying to communicate with her, her dad apparently lied and said that this guy was not trying to contact her. When the daughter found out by contacting the guy to see if he had been reaching out to Jim Holt, the guy said yes. And when she realized her father lied, the two oldest daughters called their oldest sister's husband and had them pick them up and they fled the house. Jim Holt apparently did not like that they left and tried to follow them to Missouri and bring them back home, to which they said no. So the girls in this culture that want to leave home that are under the authority of their father, they either have to have a family member help them escape they have to call the police to have an escort out of the property, or they have to literally escape in the middle of the night. So I said about Jana, Jana has 34 years of indoctrination and she continues to live under her parents' authority. And I said, what would Jim Bob do with her? And the friend said, if Jana would wanna leave, it would probably take police escorting her off the property. And it would probably take someone, her, to call police or for her to want to leave to call police. I'll ask a, a girl, uh, a single girl, are you living at home with your parents? 
And she'll say often, uh, no, I'm living in an apartment near my home. Well, do your parents want you to live in an apartment? Well, they often say I can always come home whenever I want, but uh, I just think I should be out on my own. And I want to say to you, if you're not fulfilling the known wishes of your parents in major areas, don't expect them to get too excited by giving you counsel in minor areas. And furthermore, girls, you may think it's fashionable to be in your own apartment or with some other girl in an apartment. But can I just tell you that unless you have a clear reason that's understandable to your parents, understandable to the Lord most of all, whenever a fella, most fellas, hear that you have your own apartment, they immediately have a conclusion about your morals that you don't want them to. You know, some of her siblings, like Ginger, have tried to get her to move and she won't move because she's so indoctrinated and she's so controlled by Jim Bob. And Jim Bob also has infer interfered in her relationships. He has ended courtships. He has stopped her from moving on. He, she ha she was courting someone right before Josh got arrested and that was abruptly stopped and, and the, the, uh, the relationship was ended. And Jim Bob would always place it on Jana as being too picky, but my sources say it had nothing to do with Jana being too picky and Jim Bob being too controlling about who she could date and who she could not date. And Jim Bob had a bigger need for Jana at home than he did have a need for Jana being away. Jim Bob was also kind of obsessed with Jana, and my sources said that when she was a young girl, Jana was always with her mom, and it was almost like Michelle was keeping Jim Bob away from Jana trying to make it so that Jim Bob couldn't have access to her because she was always with Michelle. And that has been an ongoing speculation for a very long time. Now, Mary Duggar did the same thing with Deanna and with the kids when it came to jail, where they would try to protect the kids from Grandpa Duggar. And what Michelle was doing with Jana was very reminiscent to what Mary Duggar was doing with jail. Jana has a story to tell and it's probably one of a lot of pain and hurt and sadly she doesn't even realize that she one can leave. She doesn't know that she has the ability to own her own home, get a job, any of these things. But the problem here is that Jana's cell phone is under Jim Bob's plan. She has no access to the outside world outside of Jim Bob. She has no money. She likely has no credit cards in her name. She likely doesn't have a bank account. She's probably never had to pay a single bill in her life. She doesn't know how to pay for things, how to run her own finances because Jim Bob takes care of everything. She has no life skills, even though she can do DIY stuff and she can fix things. She literally has no skills to know how to live in the real world. And that's why the illustrations we have in scripture are of young ladies that were under the protection of their fathers, their homes, until God brought the young man in their lives. Yet she stayed under the protection of her family. And God brought the one of his choosing all across country to where she was. And so God she's will. being held captive, basically, but she doesn't even know she's being held captive because she's in love with her abusers. So it's like Stockholm Syndrome. So Jana... That's how much control Jim Bob has on Jana. It doesn't have anything to do with Jana wanting to stay because she wants to protect her sisters or Jana staying because she has to stay because her sisters are, she raised her sisters. That has nothing to do with it. She stays because she cannot leave because Jim Bob will not let her leave. And she knows, having watched what her dad has done to others, that if she does leave, he will cut her off. He will cut off all, her from all of her friends. She will lose her entire community. She will lose access to her siblings. She will be completely on her own with no life skills and no ability to take care of herself. And on top of that, she's never had to live on her own. So she doesn't know how to. It's like she's stuck in a, a, a a perpetual state of being like a 15 year old. So that's the reality that Jana is facing today. And the only way off the compound is through a police officer or one of her siblings helping her escape. But Jana has to want to escape first. And that itself can take years for her to get to and unravel and understand that she can. We'll get into more about Anna because Anna's situation is probably more dire than Jana's. Tell me what your thoughts are in the comments below. Bye, guys.